And so any time in human history, these are immense accomplishments. Yeah, the biased media gives me no credit. They do give you credit for screwing things up to the point that the entire economy is facing collapse. Don't believe those reports. Pure gossip that the media tries to pass off as news. American people are aware of that. That's why I want to win re-election. Oh, not if I can help it. You can't help it. You wasted your time and money opposing me. You're just one of those pseudo-conservative, pandering, quasi-liberal, social democratic liberals who preach a good game, but can't deliver. All you do is blab away like a spoiled child who needs a spanking. The people are tired of old, worn-out formulas. They want someone who's smart, like me. <laughs> Meanwhile, you still can't figure out what is one <coughs> one. That's because I'm involved in you think. <laughs> Something that you can't possibly comprehend. I've studied the issue, and I'm still convinced that one and one equals two. <sighs> Continuing to listen to you two prattle on like this makes me doubly convinced that neither one of you are qualified to be president, mm -hmm. and that the people must be like to be. I read a report that you believe that the Earth isn't round. Is that part of your new think also? So why not, as I said before, as president I am obligated to maintain an open mind. Otherwise I'm just perpetuating stupidity. And stupidity is our biggest, most serious obstacle to solving problems and, and making progress. Meanwhile, your open-mindedness almost got, into us, got us into a nuclear war in Asia. Phony news. Relations with our partners and friends, and even with our adversaries, have never been better. I even received a birthday card from the recluse who hasn't left his palace in 27 years. Oh, what did the card say? That's personal and top secret. Do I ask to see your birthday cards? The American people have a right to know the content of the message in that card. No, they do not. The card was sent to me, not to the American people. But the president represents the American people. Therefore, all communications received by the president must be made public. That's only logical. Listen to you. You're preaching to me what's logical? Meanwhile, you can't accept the possibility that one plus one may have more than one answer. It shows that both of you are just half a snicker poops. Why you are even wasting your time running against me baffles me. Why not save yourself a lot of money and effort? I can see the election now. The American people will understand. They are on my side. That's because I want to make America happy again. I want to make America sing again. I want to make, make America dance again. I want to make America smile again. I want to make America laugh again. And most of all, I want to make America smart again. Good night and goodbye. I'm out of here. <laughs> the nerve of him just getting up and leaving like that. Who does he think he is? He's the president. <sighs> There's no way that the country can survive another four years of him. No way. Him and his new thing. Do you think he even thinks? <laughs> one plus one equals three. Is he serious? He's obviously pandering for the stupid vote. <laughs> There's no way that the American people will, even, will ever accept that garbage. That's how it defies all logic. But that's how he, he won, by pandering to stupidity with the help from well-placed friends overseas. I heard that last remark. We thought you left. I did, but first I had to make a pit stop. <laughs> Thank you for letting us know. When nature calls, nature calls. <laughs> Now, what was it you said about me uh, being helped by well-placed friends? They helped you get elected. Let me tell you something. I won because the American people hate <sighs> stupidity. Oh, Period. I hate stupidity too, but that doesn't mean I voted for you. Well, that's just how stupid you really are. <laughs> all you college professor types are alike. You think you know it all, but you know nothing. Your fancy degrees and titles are a sham. The average working Joe has more common sense than his little pinky than you do in your entire life. 
That's why they can figure out how one plus one can equal three while you can't. Your intellectual arrogance is what keeps people down and, and killing the country. Well, I can change that. Does that statement also apply to your team of geniuses at Radbourne College and at the Peace School? No, it does not because they are no longer paid members of the National Association of College Professors and other know-it-alls. <laughs> that organization should be banned. I'm totally fed up with how they want to keep Americans stupid, especially the most depraved members of the group, the dumb plucks and slayheads. We refuse to teach that the world is flat. <laughs> All you're doing is spreading misinformation and creating confusion. And all you're doing is pandering for the college professor vote. <laughs> Admit it, you know I'm right. No, you're not. You have to be stopped. Your program is an attack on logic itself. It will never succeed. Not if I can help it. It succeeded already beyond my wildest dreams. End of scene three. There will be a brief intermission followed by the finale. <laughs> <laughs>